Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Hi. A real pleasure to have you here with us in London. Maybe you could kick off with a brief introduction to your film. What can audiences expect if they watch it? Um, my name is Christine Ko. I directed a film called The Woman in the White Car. It's in the thrill section. I can't really explain the plot without giving too much away, just because the film plays on the unreliable narrator trope and uh, about eyewitness accounts and how perceptions can be deceiving. But um, it takes place in a rural city in South Korea during the winter. And one snowy morning, these two women roll into the hospital. One's been stabbed and one's been kind of beaten and bruised. and um, one claims that her sister's been a victim of a domestic abuse of a crime and a female sergeant who works at the local police department, she starts investigating their case and finds out that there is more than what she thought there originally was. So, Can you tell us a bit about the genesis uh, of this project? Where did you get the initial inspiration for the for the film and why do you think it's going to work so well as a feature? I originally wanted to do a psychological thriller just because it's my favorite genre to watch and so I wanted to in a way to make my favorite movie <laughs> or something that I would want to watch in theaters and so I, we started the idea of wanting it to be about two women who are isolated in some kind of mountain cabin in the snow and isolated from everyone else and how when we, we actually believe they might be victims of a crime but they actually turn out they're not and I wanted to just play with that and so I met with a screenwriter that I'd worked with on a Korean drama before because I, I direct Korean TV mostly and that's where my experience has been and so I approached her with this idea and she said well, I think it's going to be really fun and she wrote the script and the first draft in three weeks after we started having our meetings so it really just lightning in a bottle and we only had 14 days to shoot the film uh, in February of this year so we rewrapped in March and I only had like a month to edit before submitting it to film festival so it, it really just happened quickly and I I don't know if it feels like it's fresh out of the oven hopefully it does <laughs> and, and tell us about your cast how you decide on them and how you work with them and like you say working to such a a brief timeline, what were maybe some of the, the challenges, but equally some of the highlights of the shoot? So I'd worked with my main two actresses, the one that plays the sergeant, uh, Lee Jung-un, who has played the housekeeper in Parasite, and uh, my other leading lady. I've worked with her on a uh, Korean drama called The Diary of a Prosecutor, and they're both really prolific actresses in South Korea, and they're both really top of their field. And so just having had that personal relationship and they just wanted to help me out because it was my first time as a director and they said it's a feature debut, we'll help you, um, help you do this miracle, capture this miracle in 14 days. And um, just being able to direct them was a dream and just they're so professional, they're so experienced and we had, we had shorthands for everybody so that we didn't have to spend too much time on set talking about it because I knew I had so little time. So I always met with them beforehand and just kind of developed you know, levels of psychosis, especially with my protagonist. I said, we're at level one now, or you have to dial it up to level three. And so we had, we kind of had a numerical system in that term. And because we had such a short amount of time, I had at least three cameras going at one time, sometimes more. So the actors didn't have to do too many takes. Like they could finish the scene and maybe two or three or four at the most. So they didn't have to expend too much of their energy and we could get a lot more done. And so I'd get all the coverage I need in a few takes. So, um, and I think that was only possible with a Korean television crew, just because everyone's really fast on their feet and we're used to working under severe stress and timelines. And so that was a really interesting and stressful experience, but they made it fun for me, so. What do you think you learned, um, as, you know, doing a, your first feature length film? And I mean, what could you take from experience working in TV and what was completely different? Um, well, I only realized it could work as a feature film while I was editing it. So I like to edit myself, like I'm on the computer and editing and it was originally developed to be a two episode TV series. But as I was working on it, I thought, I think people should really watch this in one sitting just because I didn't want the tension to go away. And I thought the, the biggest thing that I learned was that even though thrillers are my favorite to watch, they're the hard, they're one of the hardest genres to make, I think. And just being a first time director doing a thriller was maybe a bad idea, but I, I, I did learn a lot about um, pacing and rhythm and thrillers. It's so important to keep that tension and that uh, push and pull with the audience. And so knowing when to release it a little bit and knowing when to tug them back, and I learned a lot of that in post and also, you know, on set and uh, my crew helped me. They were really like an experienced crew. My cinematographer has been around forever and I had, you know, 
the best actresses and they helped me with the with the rhythm and the way that they said their lines and how fast they said their lines or I was, or how slow they said it and so that was that was my biggest takeaway was that thrillers are hard to make and there's a reason I will enjoy watching them so it's a very female led both in front and behind the camera um feels like we're in a great moment somehow for female led stories particularly going into different genres um how do you see that landscape at the moment and and why do you think it's important to have female led stories on the big screen I mean, I think Korea is maybe a little bit behind in the conversation. It's a little bit slower than the conversation you guys have been having already for so long. And we're just starting to have it now. And I think the biggest feedback that I've gotten from female audiences was that it was so refreshing to see not only female protagonists, but also female villains in thrillers and mysteries, because a lot of the times female characters are either the damsels in distress or they're like the hardened survivors. And I wanted all my characters to be able to be both and just have, you know, a traumatic history and have vulnerability, but also have like a strength that comes from that. And I think women have a really innate understanding of each other and each other's weaknesses and want to actually help each other through it and help each other heal. And so that was kind of, that was the atmosphere on set too. Was I, they felt, I think the actress felt safer because it was, you know, me and it was really a female heavy crew. And so for them, it was a new experience. They said that was interesting too, that the screenwriter and the director and the, you know, the main, the leading cast members are all female. We're a little bit behind in the conversation, but hopefully we can help add to it. I don't know. Also feels like we're an incredible moment for, for Korean mm, exactly. cinema, TV. And I guess probably if, if you're from there, you. Yeah. You've known that, that you have amazing content for a long time, but it's almost like the rest of the world has suddenly woken up to the idea too. How, how does that feel? And perhaps to be part of that wave and maybe people being more kind of um, accepting and inclusive about, oh, I can read subtitles, you know, not everything has to be in their own language. I, I cried when Parasite won the Oscar. I think a lot of Korean filmmakers or uh, aspiring filmmakers probably did and with Squid Game being as successful as it is, I think we were all really just proud of it. Like we had worked on it ourselves and just, I feel like we're at a moment in time where, and I was really lucky to have a feature film and just have a debut in this time. And I think I'm like a beneficiary of that attention. And probably I stand on the shoulders of, you know, those who came before me and to be at the same festival as Director Park is a dream come true. It's mind blowing. and. Um, you know, I've grown up watching their things and just uh, to have to be able to share that spotlight a, even a little bit and hopefully add to it and make it a little bit bigger. And I'm really glad that people are finding out about it now. And I just I just hope it's not a short lived trend just because the shelf life on so many things are shorter and shorter now. And as good as it is for things to be accessible and for people all over the world to be able to watch it. And just because it is accessible, though, people kind of move on from it quicker. So I'm just hoping Korean culture and uh, K-pop and K-dramas and Korean cinema isn't a short-lived fad. I hope it is here to stay. And so hopefully more good content comes out and I hope to be part of the deluge of stuff that comes out. Um, what do you hope people will take away from watching your film and particularly what does it mean to you to have it as part of London Film Festival? Like you said, being next to people like, you know, decision to leave. I mean, to be a first time director, it's my first time on the festival circuit and to be in London of all places. You know, I've watched so many intros and Q and A's from this festival and red carpet photos since I was a kid. Like it was just my role models have all been here and been at Royal Festival Hall and doing their gala presentations here. And so it's really, really surreal. And I hope that people our understanding of the fact that it's a first time director's feature and so are a little more lenient but i just i really hope that they have fun and the 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 only thing i wanted to do with this film was to create a two-hour experience where the audience knows um, just as little as the characters or even less sometimes so that i keep them just engaged enough for them to keep guessing and to keep wanting to know more and so if people have fun then i've accomplished my goal you know i, I wasn't trying to instill like a huge political message or anything i just wanted people to be escape to a wintry korea for two hours and just <laughs> um follow this detective on her journey do you know what you're going to work on next have you got the taste for feature films i i think i want to try my hand at something a little lighter maybe like a melodrama that koreans are known to be good at and just the uh, romance like high teenage 
rom-coms or maybe i don't know maybe i'll keep getting more thriller scripts i don't know um but hopefully i can study more and learn more and meet a lot of new filmmakers here and be inspired by them also amazing well, thank you so much for sharing all that with us oh, and really you. enjoy presenting your film here in london thank you thank Thanks you for so taking much. the time